Welcome to Stacker News. What did you miss last week in web dev? Last week, we learned to code fast, chose a database for our SaaS in 9.49 minutes, and built the best blog app with React. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite creators from last week, and maybe you'll discover some new content that you didn't know about, but there's even more news in the Stacker News newsletter. Click the link in the description below to sign up. All of the links mentioned will be in the newsletter, and even if you don't want to sign up, you can still access all of the links mentioned. This is Stacker News. First up in top news, Angular 13 is available, TypeScript 4.5 release candidate is available, and Puppeteer 11.0. On to the VS Code extension of the week. With Git Graph, you can view a Git Graph of your repository and easily perform Git actions from the graph. And you can even configure it to look the way that you want. Well, let's take a look at some events coming up. Don't miss DevFest North America on November 19th and 20th. It's virtual and free, and I'll be speaking there, so go ahead and register now. Then on December 8th, we're going to have ReactConf 2021. There's a lot of great speakers there as well. Here are last week's videos in no particular order. In this video, Andy Sterkowitz tells us how we can learn to code faster. He takes a look at some principles for learning that can rapidly speed up the process of learning to code and becoming a software developer. Do this or keep struggling. Next up on Free Code Camp, Colt Steele goes over the 50 most popular Linux and terminal commands. He put this course together in combination with Flavio Copas' Linux Command Handbook. And all of these commands work on Linux, Mac OS, WSL, and anywhere that you have a Unix environment. In this video from Nicole Young, she lets us know how to build real-world coding projects. This video is full of great tips and tricks to help you build real-world coding skills. Portfolio projects are important, and they can be the difference between you getting your dream developer job or not. In this video from James Q. Quick, he covers five tips for building amazing portfolio projects that will help you land a job as a developer. Picking a database when developing a startup is important. You have local versus cloud, SQL versus NoSQL, document-based versus table-based. Adrian Tuareg recently launched a new SaaS, and in this video, he goes through the key steps that he took to pick the right database for his project. If you missed my video from last week, I launched an API crash course. In this course, I'll teach you what an API is, how to use multiple APIs in your application, and even how to build and sell your own API to make money. Up next, Dave Gray lets us know that using for each is bad if you're using async await code. I learned a lot from this video, so you have to go check it out. Next, JavaScript Mastery builds the best blog app with React. It has featured and recent posts, categories, full markdown articles, author information, comments, and much more. It uses GraphQL and a dedicated content management system, and it looks amazing. Next up, Gary at Design Course creates highly dynamic and flexible buttons within Figma. If you want to learn all about UI UX design, this is the channel for you. Go check it out. And in this video, Coder1 shows us three projects that will guarantee you your first web developer job, whether you're a front-end, back-end, or full-stack developer. On to articles, podcasts, and socials. Here's a great article that I came across on Dev2. I created an e-commerce site from scratch and kept a development diary over the course of five months. So go check out this article to follow the process. For podcasts, check out the latest episode of The Smashing Podcast if you want to know what Astro is. Drew talks to Matthew Phillips to find out all about it. If you want some great inspiration, go check out Kyle Prinsloo on Twitter. And over on Instagram, go check out this short carousel to find out some free popular APIs that you can use in your next project from Code Crooks Shanks. I don't know, I think something got lost in translation there. Again, there's even more content in the newsletter. The link is in the description. If you missed last week's episode, go check that one out as well. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.